Golf Central on YouTube. Brought to you by Apex Irons from Callaway. From our Golf Central studios, I'm Whit Watson. The PGA Tour is in Bermuda this week for the Butterfield Bermuda Championship, a standalone event worth 500 FedEx Cup points and a trip to the Masters in 2022. It is 30-year-old Canadian Taylor Pendrith who has a three-shot lead after a 65 on day three. Danny Lee is at 14 under par. Lucas Herbert at 13 under. Pendrith. Experience on the Corn Ferry Tour and the Forum Tour, trying to win for the first time on the PGA Tour, and he spoke with Rex Hoggard. Yeah, it was cool. It's obviously a new experience for me, being a rookie out here, and um, got off to a slow start. I, I was hitting the ball really well and had a nice look on one, a nice look on two, and just couldn't get anything really to go. And um, you know, Patrick and Vince were two, three under, I think, through six, and I was one over. So just trying to be patient out there, and, and kind of knew that. Uh, hopefully he was going to get on a run at some point and um, it got a nice up and down on seven, hit a really nice shot in on eight and that kind of sparked my round and was able to go from there. How hard is it to be patient when you see guys like you know, Patrick really kind of get off this Yeah, it's tough. I mean, especially the front nine, you know, for whatever reason, there's a little less wind down in the valley and um, a lot of wedges and uh, two is a reachable par five and wasn't able to get a birdie on any of those first six, which which was kind of a slow start, but like I said, we knew there was a lot of scorable holes coming in, and you can get it going on the back. You just got to hit some quality shots, and I uh, was able to do that. You're pretty far along success-wise. I'm wondering where you guys put open. Mm -hmm. How did that you need your confidence to play so well in really, really difficult conditions? Yeah, it was, it was great. I, I always have thought that a U.S. Open would kind of suit my, my game, and um, you know, I like the harder golf courses, and um, so it was to, to have a round of 70 on Sunday was did a lot for my confidence going forward, and just saw myself move up and against the best players in the world, which was really cool. But um, you know, I also like making a lot of birdies. So <laughs> I remember we, we played Wichita the next week, and I think I made eight birdies in the first round. It felt amazing to make a birdie again. But I enjoy the hard conditions, and and uh, you know, just trying to grind it out for pars. Yeah, I'm not really sure. I've never been in this position, but you know, there's a lot of familiar names that up on top of the leaderboard that I've played with the last two years on the Corn Ferry Tour. So, I mean, I think there'll be some nerves for everybody in the top ten. I think going into tomorrow, but um, just going to try and focus on what I can control and just go play golf and try to battle the wind. Yeah, I, I've hit driver there every day and uh, I've hit two really good ones the first two days and today the wind was kind of in off the right so it was a, a perfect driver for me but I kind of pulled it a little bit and I was worried that it was going to be wet but um, stayed up and hit a six iron to 15 feet. Put on 16, yeah, it was great. You know, we had a little bit of a weight on the tee, and um, it was just trying to get it anywhere on the green and make a three and get out of there. So to see that fall in at the last second was a big bonus. We went up north to Muskoka in Ontario for a few days just to get away, and then we came here. A little bit, yeah. Un unofficial honeymoon. <laughs> Text you maybe? Yeah, maybe. I'm not sure. We, you know, we talk a lot, so I'm sure we'll. I'll talk to him tonight a little bit. Yeah, I might. I, you know, like I said, I've, I've never been in this position before, and um, so it's new to me. But um, I'm just gonna try and enjoy the day, and maybe see what he's got to say. All right. In second place, by himself at 14 under par, Danny Lee, the 31-year-old. Born in South Korea, moved to New Zealand as a very young boy, now lives in Texas. Ten years on tour, one win. That was at Greenbrier back in 2015. Round of 65 today. Good putting day, just 24 putts for Danny Lee. Everything went very smoothly today. There's no really big miss hits other than 13 and 14 off the tee, but other than that, everything was really good. Um, I hit a Really, really good tee shot on number 16. That's a nerve-breaking hole. Every time I go there, it's like, it's a pretty tough hole. 
but I made a good par there and good birdie finish and out of probably I could have done a little better with the uh, last hole second shot on 18 but that's just golf so I'm gonna just go to go to the driving range and work on it a little bit I guess as maybe having a little lower expectations coming in with the level you kind of played um, no, I didn't have a low expectation. I worked my ass off last month, so getting on the plane all the way to over here, I was, I was, I, I was kind of expecting it to do something great, and I need to. So um, I wasn't come here to just play golf. I just, I came over here to like play some good, really good golf and. Um, it's uh, I'm doing it right now, so it's good good to see that happening right now. And um, yeah, I just need one more day like this. Do you like playing under pressure? I don't know. Uh, yes and no. I, I I was in this position many times before, and I done some good stuff. And I also had some bad stuff, but I can't really tell you. But I think I I have the game for it. I'm ready, and I'm gonna just have a great day tomorrow. Also lurking on this leaderboard, 25-year-old Australian Lucas Herbert, first year on the PGA Tour. He does have a couple of wins on the European Tour, including the Irish Open this year. So some recent winning experience. For Herbert, shot 65 despite having go having to go to a backup driver before that third round began. Yeah, it was uh, it was a funny one. I was probably probably had two or three drivers left to hit, just hitting a couple of low ones to get ready for a bit of a windy day. But I had to you know flight the ball down and just hit one that felt a bit weird, and then hit two that felt a bit weird, and um, kind of looked at the driver and just looked a bit suspicious, and I wasn't too sure whether they were coming out normal, so went to the backup head uh, in the locker. So. Had to hit a few more drivers to get that, make sure that was right. But yeah, it was probably not what I wanted um, with one of the last few swings on the range this morning before I went to play. All in all, uh, happy to round, uh, assess, assess your yeah, it was sort of, it was really good in that I took some took some good opportunities and, and made the best of maybe not playing my best at times, but then also kind of felt like I left some chances out there too. So uh, I don't know. I can't be too upset with it. I mean in a good position going in tomorrow. I don't know whether it's three, four, five shots back. It looks like Taylor's playing really nicely out there. So um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take some chasing from anyone to catch him tomorrow. But um, yeah, if I can sort of find a find a little fix on the range tonight maybe and, um, and get something going for tomorrow, then we might have a chance. And don't forget, it is a changed schedule for Sunday. The weather forecast not looking good in the afternoon, so starting times for round four, 7.45 a.m. to 9.57 a.m. local time, which is one hour ahead of the East Coast, going off both the first and the tenth tees in threesomes. So our coverage has changed as well. Pre-game at 10 a.m. Eastern time on Golf Channel, final round coverage at 11 a.m. Eastern time, and then back to wrap things up on Golf Central at 2 p.m. Eastern. Championship Sunday from Bermuda. We hope to see you right here on Golf Central.